आई नो स्टूडेंट्स वी आर बी स्टार्टिंग नेक्स्ट टॉपिक ऑफ चैप्टर रैशनल एंड इैशनल दैट इज सर्ट और रेडिकल्स वट इज अर्ट If x is a positive rational number, we have a positive rational number x, and n is a positive integer such that x to the power one by n. What do you mean by x to the power one by n? That is nth root of x. X is a positive radic rational number, and n is an integer, and we are finding nth root of this rational number, but the result is irrational. Then this x to the power one by n is called a third or a radical. Every third is an irrational number. Example, cube root of six. Cube root of six is a third because cube root of six will not come out to be any rational number, so it is a third. Six is rational, but cube root of six is irrational, so this is a third or radical. Now we will learn about the method of rationalizing the thirds. What is rationalization of thirds? Rationalization means the process of multiplying a third by another third to get a rational number. If we multiply two thirds and we get a rational number, then that method is known as rationalization, and each third is called rationalizing factor of other third. For example, root five when multiplied by root five, the result will be the result will be five. Root five square root of five square root of five. That is five to the power one by two. Means it is a third. This is also a third. We are multiplying two thirds, but the result is a rational number. So this is called rationalization of third root five, and root five is called the rationalizing factor of root five. See another example. Four plus root three. Four minus root three. If I multiply these two, four square minus root three square will be equal to By a using a plus b, a minus b is equal to a square minus b square. This will be equal to sixteen minus three. That is equal to thirteen. A rational number. So four plus root three and four minus root three are rationalizing factors of each other. Now we learn how to rationalize a given number. Rationalize the denominator. Question says rationalize the denominator and simplify. We have to rationalize the denominator here. Means we have to change the denominator into a rational number. Three upon four root five. We know just now we have seen for root five into root five is equal to five. So we will be multiplying and dividing this number by root five. Process of rationalization is the method used is always multiply and divide the numerator as well as the denominator by the rationalizing factor of denominator. Here, rationalizing factor is root five because root five into root five is equal to five. Therefore, we will multiply and divide the numerator and denominator by rationalizing factor that is root five. So, multiplying. First, you write we know that. Root five into root five is equal to five, a rational number. Therefore, rationalizing factor will be root five for four root five. So we will multiply and divide, multiplying. And dividing by root five, we get three upon four root five into root five upon root five. That is equal to three root five upon four into root five into root five will be equal to four into five because root five into root five is five. So three under root five upon twenty. We have removed rationalized the denominator. That is, root five under root five has been removed from denominator and it has been changed into a rational number. Three under root five upon twenty. This rationalization has been done and simplification has been done. Let us see one more example. Now we have to same question. We have to rationalize the denominator of one upon root five plus under root two. Now, how do you rationalize this term? The rationalizing factor for root under root five plus under root two will be using minus sign. 
terms will remain same and we will use minus by using this identity with the help of this identity we come to know that it will be rational number if we we'll multiply and divide by minus just multiply and divide by root 5 minus root 2 means same expression is used with opposite sign if there would have been minus here you would have been multiply multiplying and divide by plus if there is plus multiply and divide by minus if there is minus multiply and divide by plus change the sign and terms remain same just change the sign and then multiply and divide this will be equal to root 5 and please give the statement here multiplying and dividing by root 5 minus root 2 root 5 minus root 2 upon this will be equal to this is very important step to write you have to write this step minus root 2 whole square you can't write the answer directly this will be equal to root 5 minus root 2 upon root 5 square is 5 minus root 2 square is 2 this is equal to root 5 minus root 2 upon 3 denominator has changed into a rational number and here you write using a plus b a minus b is equal to a square minus b square multiply and divide by the denominator but with opposite sign if it contains more than one term this is how you rationalize the denominator and then use this identity and solve it further see one more question this is again simplify now three terms are there we have to simplify this whole expression and every expression has irrational numbers in the denominator root 10 plus root 3 root 6 plus root 5 root 15 plus 3 root 2 how do you solve it you rationalize each term rationalizing each term rationalizing the denominator of each term why we are rationalizing the denominator of each term because if you will write uh, take lcm and then solve it will be very long procedure and very hectic and still there will be root values in denominator so first we rationalize each term separately by the same method which i just explained by rationalizing for first term 7 root 3 upon root 10 plus root 3 rationalizing factor will be again same term but because plus sign is there here it will be minus root 10 minus root 3 root 10 minus root 3 this will give us 7 root 3 into root 10 minus under root 3 upon this will be under root 10 whole square minus under root 3 whole square using the identity you can write here this will be 7 under root 3 under root 10 minus under root 3 upon 10 minus 3 that is 7 under root 3 under root 10 minus under root 3 upon 7 7 and 7 cancel what is left under root 3 under root 10 minus under root 3 that is equal to root 3 into root 10 root 30 minus root 3 into root 3 3 from first term we have got this just write here like this root 10 plus root 3 is equal to this similarly you will rationalize second term i am not showing the steps show the steps yourself don't write the answer directly like i will be writing here rationalizing factor only i am writing for you what will be the rationalizing factor it will be root 6 minus root 5 because here it is plus upon root 6 minus root 5 show all the steps do not miss any step do not write the answer directly answer you will be getting here will be 2 root 30 minus 10 when you will rationalize it with all the steps rationalize yourself then third term 3 root 2 upon root 15 plus 3 root 2 will be equal to 3 root 2 upon root 15 plus 3 root 2 again rationalizing factor will be plus change to minus to make it rationalizing factor root 15 minus 3 root 2 here also do it yourself 
through all the steps and the result which you will get is 3 root 30 minus 18 upon minus 3 then 3 is common in these terms so I can take out 3 common and what will be left root 30 minus 6 3 6 18 upon minus 3 3 and 3 cancel minus sign is left so this becomes minus root 30 plus 6 we have rationalized each of the terms now we will simplify it means we will substitute these values which we have received here substitute these values root 30 minus root 3 for first term 2 root 30 minus 10 for second term and minus root 30 plus 6 for the third term let me copy the question again I have copied the question again this will be equal to what was the first factor we got this was equal to root 30 minus 3 this was the first one that we got then minus second one was 2 root 30 minus 10 minus third one was minus root 30 plus 6 minus root 30 plus 6 substitute the values simply this will be equal to root 30 minus 3 minus 2 root 30 minus minus plus 20 plus root 30 minus 6 sorry this is 10 plus 10 this is equal to root 30 minus 2 root 30 plus root 30 they can be solved together and they will cancel root 30 plus root 30 will be 2 root 30 minus 2 root 30 is 0 then 10 minus 6 minus 3 will be 10 minus 9 that is equal to 1 this is the final answer just quickly look at the question again what we have done is first we have rationalized each term separately again I am saying show the all the steps do not write the answer directly I have done to save time in video the next Again, we have third term we are rationalizing. Write all the steps with formula mention, with the mention of the formula there. Then we have, when we have rationalized, we have reached two single terms here, no denominator they are having. We have just copied the question again and we have substituted the values there and there we have evaluated. This is root 30 plus root 30. In rough, I am writing to make it more clear. This will be 2 root 30 minus 2 root 30 will be equal to 0. That is why these terms have cancelled each other. Minus 6 minus 3 minus 6 is minus 9 and 10 minus 9 is 1. This we have reached the answer. I will discuss some more questions in next video. Till then try to understand the concept.